Hey, Corey, you're running in District 17 against, uh, who are you running against? Do you have anyone in the race? Um, there's no one on the Republican side, but there's about 10, 12, 13 people on the Democratic side. So I'm waiting for my opponent to shake out amongst those that group over there. Okay, like I said, you're running in the race in District 17. Why exactly are you running? And, and tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all. I'm a school teacher and a coach. And I believe that the reason why I'm running is simply, I want to be a representative that represents all the people in this district and not just focusing on one group. I believe there's a lot of people in this district who has been ignored for the past 10 years, 20 years by the Meeks, and I want to give them a representative that I believe should be there. A little bit more about me, I was your regular guy and I was complaining all along through the 2008 um, presidential election and I could see things that were going to happen and they happened. So now instead of sitting on my couch, I'm going to put my neck out there for you, the public, because I really want to represent. I believe this is my ability to serve my country, serve the people in this district, and turn things around here because it was just too great of an opportunity to allow the same thing to continue out in Congress. And this is Kendrick Meeks who's running for the U.S. Senate. That's his old seat, right? Yeah, it's Kendrick Meeks' old seat, and it'll, hopefully it'll stay that way. <laughs> um, now, uh, Nowadays, in, in, in District 17, what are some of the pressing issues that are, that are directly affecting uh, the district? First pressing um, issue in this district is that the loss of jobs. Businesses in this district are closing left and right. As you drive down 163rd Street, which is in the heart of this district, you'll see a lot of vacant, closed businesses. That means a lot of people are unemployed. That affects me because when I talk to my kids in class, their parents are losing their jobs. Also, the education system. Our schools, all 13 of the high schools in this district are failing schools. So they need someone that they can believe that loves them enough to say, hey, we need to turn this around. And as an educator, it's a pressing issue in my heart. And what's another issue? One more issue that I see in this area is the lack of businesses coming in. And that is another issue because there's so many different local taxes and there's no ready to work jobs. One of the things I would like to see is a real jobs bill that puts pails into the dirt. We have a bad drainage system in this area. It floods every time. Why aren't we repairing that? Where is the federal dollars on federal roads to get these kind of projects started? That's what a representative should do. Talk to the people, find out what is needed, and get the job done. Now, uh, your, obviously your campaign's in full swing. Um, the district, where does it run? Is it solely in Miami-Dade County? No, the district actually saddles both Dade and Broward County. So it's as far as almost downtown Miami. It also goes out west to Miami Gardens, Opelika, um, Little, um, Little Havana area. It goes into um, El Portal, Miami Shores, North Miami, North Miami Beach. Then into Southern Broward where Tallandale, uh, Miramar, Pembroke, and um, Hollywood. It's up to Taft Street and then it's um, after that is uh, District 20. So it's a very large district, and I'm trying to cover as much ground as I possibly can. So how can we help you? Uh, do you have a website we can go to, uh, see if we can go to donate, find out more about you? Especially donate, because we need, we need to raise some money. Well, my website is www.poitier for Congress, either the number four or F-O-R, congress.com. And that way you can find out more about me, my platform, a little bit of, you know, just some things about me, what I believe, and also you can donate. Also, if you live in the district, I have a petition form there that you can, if you're a technology person, fill out, print, sign, and mail back to me. It's a way to try and reach out to the people. And if you're not a voter, this is your opportunity to vote because I also have a voter page there too where you can fill out the form, print it, and mail it into your local agency. And that way you can be on the ballot. You can help me get on the ballot and also put me in office in November. Corey Portia, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you.